Hey, we're back with another Under 3 Minutes, the show that talks tech that shapes the financial services industry. Uh, and I'm, I'm here with Andrew Kant, uh, VP of Financial Solutions here at NextJ. And Andrew, I really wanted to talk about open banking. It's certainly a subject that's gained a lot of traction, specifically in the last few months. And I mean, you know, increased transparency and the value of that and the ability to bring in third parties to, you know, help build out, so to speak. Where do you see open banking going? Where, where exactly is it pushing towards? Yeah, I, I think to me, it's something which is really exciting. It's kind of a revolution in the banking industry, which I've never seen in my, in my lifetime. Um, it's really breaking down the, the barriers for new entrants to be able to come into the market, deliver a lot more innovation and allow startups to break into the, the financial services world. Now, the EU have started with a payment services directive, which is, you know, one specific element of the banking industry. So I can see that really broadening out as, as, as time goes out on that additional products will become available, um, additional data will become available, and there'll be a lot more entrance into the market. So I think it's going to become an exciting time for customers. It's going to be a challenging, challenging time for existing banks. Yeah, with, I mean, the increase of transparency and the want for that, there's obviously an increase in regulations. How do you see that sort of playing out for maybe some of these smaller or the upcoming competitors, so to speak? There's a massive challenge with this and, and, and a kind of pull in opposite directions, right? Because you have open banking, which is trying to allow client data be, to be accessible by more people. But at the same time, you have GDPR, which is trying to make sure that customers have control of their data. And you have things um, like the Patriot Act where they want access to more data. And then really historical, just normal regulations like FATCA um, and, and MIFID II where there's certain regulatory obligations um, to retain data and be able to store it. So th there's, a real, there's a real pull around what happens with that data in the future. And that's going to be a big challenge for new entrants into the market because established banks are used to the, dealing with this type of regulation and control. But for new players, there's a lot of admin and a lot of control that needs to go around that. So that's going to be hard for the new entrants, I think. Yeah, it's you know exciting times regardless. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you want any more info on open banking, uh, by all means, come on over to nextj.com or uh, start a conversation with us on social. We're on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Um, thank you, Andrew, again, and uh, have a great day.